everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Plays Dicey Dungeon. I, I, let's see, I don't know if the... Is it, is it beatable? People have beaten it. People, I'm sure some people out there are lying, saying they, they've beaten it when they haven't beaten it, but surely somebody out there on planet Earth has beaten The Witch Episode 4. Go ahead, get it over with. Give me Nudge and Magic Missile. I'm ready, okay? I'm ready. I'm not, I shouldn't come in with such a negative attitude. That being said, uh, everything about the Witch Episode 4 is a cruel joke, uh, designed to, you know, be at your own expense. Why don't you go ahead, brother, and just make sure, I was just gonna say, put me on 11 poison on turn 2. It's the first floor, that seems like a reasonable way to start things off here. What do you got for me? If it's Nudge, I s- okay, you're lucky, brother, it's Magic Missile. <laughs> Uh, with three dice, dude, I am prepared to put Magic Missile out there. The thing about the Gardener, the Gardener doesn't really stand a chance to kill you. He only has one piece of equipment, so that doesn't bother me too much. Um, I will use my Limit Break if necessary next turn. If we, uh, six would be nice. Eee. Okay, um, actually you didn't weaken us, but still, still very E. Um, well, we don't need the crystal ball, which is absolutely stunning, but, uh, we're alive and we're, we're feeling okay. Freezer shock, please. Um, I, I still think shock is the best option. You can't convince me shock is not what we want here. Um, now do you want shock or magic missile out there? It is kind of unfortunate to have two things that cover the same spot, but I think you'd still almost always rather have shock out there. I recognize this is the same path we took on a couple of our recent runs that didn't really work out, but I'm, I'm hopeful that this is uh, it's a bit of a pivot for us, if that makes sense. I think you like 5-2, like that, like that. And then like this. So you got two shock pieces of equipment, which I was just going to say is probably overkill. Um, never mind. It's actually very good. And it keeps you to only using one equipment. Which you might be at anyway, but let's not concern ourselves with, with such minor folly. Um, I still think we like shock, but it's a little spiced. I think we have to come to terms with the fact that... Um, I mean, here's my here's my enduring reasoning from our previous uh, run, okay? I think it was not... I just wanted to make sure this guy died. I think Magic Shield was not the play for us. Hall of Mirrors was doing good work. Honestly, toss this on Infliction spot. I'd rather have it on Infliction spot, I think, than have it in the in the shield spot. Or in the six spot, I should say. Um, and then, I like, I still genuinely, for realsies, um, believe that it Hall of Mirrors in the prepared slot is awesome. But then we need something to actually do with the extra dice. So I don't know if that's Magic Dagger, or if it's... Uh, there's only two damage, unfortunately, but... Or if it's if it's something else altogether that I haven't considered as of this point yet. Ah! Um, but... I'm just... I'm still a little... Just a little confused about um, how we hit a win condition as the Witch on Episode 5. I don't really think we've come close recently, but I'm, I'm willing to... You know, if you, if you think I've accidentally hit the road to El Dorado, please let me know. So I think we do want upgraded. And then anytime we get a two, we can just toss Hall of Mirrors in the spot. Um, Magic Spear is tempting, but I, again, I think the, the cost for it right now is too high, even though we do have an open slot. So, yes, I like Hall of Mirrors here. And then Cauldron, the five. You gotta do what you gotta do. That's, we'll just call that a setup turn, shall we? Nice doubles, brother. Congratulations. Uh, 
I don't, yeah, I didn't think we had to roll the numbers on this one too much. I think you definitely shock. Shock. Um, hear me out here, but I think shock's a pretty good one. Let's see where you stand. You did roll doubles. Okay. Are you gonna... Yeah, alright. So you're gonna do nine damage. That's not that bad. You could kill us, but if we shock you, you are you don't have... Oh, we, we got you killed anyway. I mean, that we, we did it backwards there, but we, we still had you killed. Um, if we shocked one piece of equipment, though, he would have maxed out at just slightly less than lethal damage. So, um, 23 of 32 HP is bad. It's not where you want to be. But, you know, considering that he rolled doubles two out of his three turns, I don't think it's that crazy. I do see that it's a Mimic. I do see that it is a Mimic. Um, but Mimic is only level two. I think that's the enemy you have to fight. To give yourself the best chance possible here. You definitely like the magic missile plus here. And sometimes he only has one piece of equipment, so let's see. Still gonna get six plus shock out, or six plus burn out of it, but that is a limit break for us. Um, and we should probably take advantage of it. Well, that's a gimme. That's also a gimme, and then you're dead. All right, so that it went just fine. For real, even in my head, I was like, maybe we should consider using Hall of Mirrors. <laughs> For what? For what? Um, I'm gonna level with you. I'm not gonna take Slime Ball. We'll never use it. We'll never use it on a, on a six that also requires evens. We have so many other pieces of equipment that require evens. I can't. I can't afford to do it. Um, so I'm gonna get real spiced on this one. I'm gonna fight the sorceress without healing. Uh, without healing anymore, I should say. Because I think as long as we shock the sorceress, we should be okay. I think we will set it up like this. I know I would have loved to. We did have Hall of Mirrors activation, but I don't think the Hall of Mirrors was the be all end all there. I wanna see how you approach this. She still rolled so well, but. One frozen dice is not the end of the world. Um. I mean, I'll just be straight up with you. I think you go right back to the well. And if you want to give me my limit break, then give me my limit break. See, sometimes you can break the AI. <laughs> it's very nice. I, li I like it a lot. Thank you. We, we can throw a dice, but I think I'd rather just get Magic Shield out there to make sure we have the maximum chance of staying alive. Double Shock is, is pretty good for us, I think. It's gonna be tight, don't get me wrong. I would rather not use our limit break. What a, what a series of rolls. We got you. Just barely, but we got you. Okie dokie. Still going here. It was a bit of a gamble, but it turned out. Certainly, uh, yes, I think a... Um, I still think it duplicates the play. Even though it's on high here, I think that becomes your next prepared slot. Counterspell is interesting. I don't know how I feel about it, but it is interesting. I feel like this is a pretty solid run right now. So I think on any fight that you expect to go even like a little long, you definitely do want to do this. Get a Hall of Mirrors out there ASAP. What do we prefer, a five or a three? Well, how about one of each? That sounds right to me. Unfortunately, it's again one of those situations. We didn't get as many uh, evens as we'd like. One, two, five, no shock. So you're gonna combine, you're gonna shock me once. You did not shock me once. You chose to use Pea Shooter instead for less damage. Which I really, honestly, am just appreciative of the AI. <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> So thank you so much. Uh, and a three is just magic missile. We already have one out there. I think we're pretty good here. Hello, come on. Okay, so again, we should expect to be shocked once. Uh, or just use spanner for no reason. That's, that's fine as well, I suppose. You like that. You don't like this. There's no reason to get too... Precious with it, you know? Just stick with some raw damage here. Shocking Hammer is solid, but you, st you still have 10 damage on the field if you want it, and he did want it this time. Um, but we have five dice, so we're just gonna toss a matchup. 
should be able to get back close to full HP. 28. Yeah. Glass Cauldron, freeze a dice, roll a 1. We don't really like a 1. Our next level is of the utmost importance. I really, really believe... I mean, who do you want to fight last? <laughs> it doesn't matter at all, I think. I really, really believe if we get this level and we can get a prepared duplicate, lots of good stuff could come to pass. So you'd love to see, like, a natural 2. We didn't get a natural 2. So we're gonna get uh, modestly spicy. We're gonna go cauldron, and we're gonna toss uh, we're gonna toss a three in there first because magic missile's not that valuable. Six is really good. Now we can toss our one in here. I don't think we care about another cauldron just yet. So we want a six on electric shock still. We got four, five, three. We can put up a shield. We could also shock twice, which I think is a little bit more valuable, and then. We're cauldroning once. We got a one out of it. There was no reason that we, we should have just thrown that dice. You, you hope that that one doesn't make much of a difference, but... Okay, both dice will be frozen. Or, sorry, all dice will be frozen, and then we'll also take four damage. It's not bad. Um, and we have cauldrons, so we can do something with these, thankfully. It's very good. Um, not so good. Very good. Okay. I mean, if it's a war of attrition, we're in a great spot here. I'm assuming that we will then have all of our dice frozen, which is not that bad. Your hope, again, two fours is good enough on a cauldron. One six now is fine, because we already did the two damage on, uh, that would have made up the difference w via the cauldrons themselves, so. Okay. <laughs> we only took ten damage, that's not that bad, we're still in it here. Um, and we will heal for seven. Both Loud Bird and Rhino Beetle are annoying as heck. Loud Bird opens up two potential healing sources. So we really, really want Shock early here. So I think we'll definitely just go for some raw damage. It's only one Shock, but even that could just imbalance the enemy enough. So we are going to be silenced, and then we're going to be hit for six with two weakness. It's really bad. Um, it's just, it's like absolutely awful. I think you put the 1-3 in here, and then use your limit break. You gotta get out of it, right? Like, um, So here, here's a spicy one for you. 5 damage, and then cover up Magic Missile with an upgraded Hall of Mirrors. Do one shock. Okay, you roll doubles again. But you... Are you gonna spend your 6? You are gonna spend your 6. So all you're doing is dodging, and you did a little damage. We can't cast any more spells, which sucks, but... It's not... Actually, it sucks a lot. Um... We love this. We know we love that. Oh, no, that's fine, but it still kind of sucks. Okay, well, I mean, what are you going to do? You might as well, right? So no shock this time. Doubles. So three damage plus silence. I, dude, I just, I hate this enemy. I hate this enemy so much. It's just absolute garbage. No kidding. Um... We might as well go 5-4 in this one, I think. Ah, uh, no, 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 you should take the 2. Oh, but the 2 could... No, no, you take the 2. Then you can Crystal Ball and see where you stand. You definitely do not want to use Hall of Mirrors. In fact, I think you... Well, hold on a moment. I think you like getting a bunch of upgraded Magic Missiles, but be smart about it. Yeah, yeah. You got to get him to lose the dodge first. Very sensible approach. Good sir, very sensible approach. Now we didn't put an upgraded one on there. We're kind of hoping that we get a dream roll here. I think he's gonna kill us. I think this son of a gun is gonna kill us yet again. And I, I may cry, I may cry. This is just too much. Who? I must be the only idiot on the planet that thinks this is a good time. Um, here's all I can think of. Is this? This? I can't believe we killed him. I, I honestly, I'm d in disbelief right now. We still gotta survive Rhino Beetle, which is very tough. <laughs> um, but, I mean, I, I guess you're saying there's a chance, right? You're saying there's a chance. Let's do it. Two, five, six. It's unfortunate on this one, but I think you can put Electric Shock here. 
And then you can get two shots. I did want more dice, but we're going to get a limit break next turn regardless. So we're going to get it for eight. It's it's a poor turn, but it's, it's not that bad when you consider that we at least got some extra value out of it, right? Um, I think at this point, respect the sh... It's really, it's a matter of this. Do you want to rush him down, or do you want to try to put up some defense? We need two shocks, so I think you can toss the one there. Then it's 3-5 or 5-3. I think you go 5-3 and put on a third shock, even though it, it might not matter, at least it's damage. 6-6-1, six, six, that's very good for us. You will probably, I was just going to say, do 8 damage lock a dice. We're obviously going to be in very dangerous territory. I'd like to say... Uh, Thank you for locking the dice that would have done the most damage to you, without a doubt. Um, go ahead and hit me for 8, leaving me very slightly alive. And all I have to do is hit you for 31 on this turn. So that's a... Pretty plausible. And uh, congratulations on your success, I hope. Couldn't, couldn't happen to a nicer guy. Um... I'm, I'm kind of, I'm washing my hands. I'm like, I am getting close to just rage quitting Dicey Dungeons, which with, with just one thing remaining is very frustrating, but it is what it is. I mean, we're, we're coming very close to no more fun territory, and I don't think I, I don't, I'm not that really that kind of YouTuber where like every video I'm like, we got to be having fun at all times. My misery is fun. Not just for you, but for me to an extent as well, to be honest. But this is getting a little extreme. You know what it's missing is uh, the element of hope. You know, when you have... Uh... So close. When you have um, hope that you'll win and you lose, there's a certain tightrope walk of tension that I think works quite nicely. Um, there is no hope of a win in this case, so it just it feels like we're just pretty much getting crapped on over and over. Um, and, uh, you know, having done everything else in the game, to be stuck on the same thing for so long is uh, it's very demoralizing. Just because of the fact that you're like, well, I, I mean, I handled every other thing, including, you know, the, <laughs> the episode fours for every other character. It's exclusively the witch that's like, it's just made impossible. Let's go weakness this time. It's, it's exciting. Probably should have put that on a six, actually, so we have space for like Hall of Mirrors. But we can put Hall of Mirrors on a four once we get it. Um... Yeah, I mean, I hate to say it. I'm just being straight up with you. I think, I think, assuming these are the balance changes, I don't think they've gone far enough, uh, is, is the polite way to put it. I don't think they've gone far enough to make, uh, might as well do it this way, I guess, to make the, the, the witch episode four fun. And I've, I've had people talk to me and be like, NL, I've beaten the witch episode four. I have never seen a comment from anybody, and this is rude, but... Also true. I've never seen a comment from anybody that said, I've beaten the witch episode 4, and it was a lot of fun. Most of the comments I've seen that have come for like, you know, for example, on the subreddit have been like, I beat the witch episode 4, I lost 35 times in a row, here's my tips for how not to be as dumb as me. You really shocked me for 3, huh? That's a... Uh... A bold move. I'm just gonna go for it. Um, so yeah, that's that's kind of where I stand. And I'm still open to the idea that I'm just not, you know, like aware from a balance standpoint of, uh, you know, like I I I still think there's some pilot error. Let's put it, put it that way. But um, I'm also like. The way I, I feel about the balance changes so far, for me, is kind of like, it's like when you fail an exam and your teacher goes, okay, you know, like 98% of the class failed the exam, so I've decided to curve it. And everyone's like, yay! And then, you know, 
they're like, everybody will be getting an extra two and a half percent on their grade. And you're like, okay, people who were sort of close to beating it, rejoice. Everybody else is like, well, I got a 22 on it, so. I mean, I'm hesitant to even use the that sort of logic, because people will be like, well, then you should have studied more. Well, yeah, but is the game designed to be, uh, you know, is the end goal of, of making a game for it to be fun? Or is it for you to simulate a, a challenge and then feel fulfilled when you complete it, despite its arbitrary nature, you know? That's, uh, that's kind of where I stand right now. You know, I think people have philosophical differences about that. Like most people, I have real challenges in my life that, um, you know, I prefer to be more constructive about, uh, you know, I, I prefer to put my actual working effort towards those as opposed to manufacturing it in the video game. And just the fact that we're talking about this instead of uh, playing the game, for me, is kind of an indication that maybe we've, we've just sort of lost it to begin with. Um, so we will put another Sonic Wave out there. We appreciate evens, but... Let's see what you get here. Alright. So I'm you know, you can't say uh, that I'm not trying new stuff. We tried Shock, didn't work. We tried Nudge, didn't work. We tried Hall of Mirrors, we're still giving it a try. You know, we're still in here. Um, one way or the other. Your boy is is throwing everything he's got. Probably could have handled that turn a little better. Um, he's throwing everything he's got at the game right now. So you know, I'm I'm really giving it everything. By my standards, at least. <laughs> I'm giving this. I'm giving it as much time as I'm giving Tetris. Let's put it that way. We're on 19 of 32 of HP. That's, that's very poor. Um, I hope that we will get an early bit of HP. Hopefully we don't need to get more HP before the vacuum, but we'll see. It's You're weak to shock. That's uh, wonderful news for previous runs of ours. <laughs> Not really wonderful news right now. But I'll weaken your weakness, which actually makes it so that you don't do any damage. You just weaken. And we're going to be... Okay, so you and I are going to be... Trading pretty much the exact same attacks back and forth. I understand now. Um, if you like that, if you like that, then then you like that. You know. I think you just play it like this. Now, for using our limit break, that's a little weak, but. Two weakness is not necessarily bad now that we have four spells out here. That's the right thing for it to hit, honestly. You like this. You like this enough. And then you hope you get an even out of that. Did not get an even out of that. Hope you get an even out of this. Did not get an even out of this. I think we will need to heal before the vacuum. But we will have a limit break available pretty quickly as well. I, I've, I've just lost all optimism in a sense that like there's a chance that we could win this run. And if that's the if that's the kind of I mean, it's tempting, right? We don't really like to roll a one though. Though it could give us it could ping back to Cauldron. I don't know. Sure, put it on a two. I mean, we're not using Infliction, so we're using exclusively twos for evens at this point. But it will probably continue to do so, just to be clear. Three fours apparently is the um, is the only roll we ever get in our first turn. In a way, I've I've got to say, you know, this is teaching me a lot about life. It's teaching me a valuable lesson on a spiritual level. Um, that, you know, were it not for the game, I might not be able to uh, have understood. We've already used this. Don't be a fool. It's a one. We don't really like a four right now. It's a three. Let's go. That was pretty lucky. <laughs> Two weakness is very, very good. Really minimizes the amount of damage done. We could still be killed next turn, even with weakness. So, um, 
you probably don't need me to tell you this, but these rolls right now have me oh very, very unhappy. I expect we will die, actually, now. Oh my god. Because he rolled too high, we lived. What a world. Still going. Still, still hanging on here. Lunch is gonna have to wait a little bit longer. Sorry, uh, sorry, Glass Cauldron. It's just, it's not your day. No, 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 no. We have so many other even usage, which is very common, of course. Gold Cauldron giving you evens probably is at this point a strictly better cauldron. Level up in 14. Okay. You still really like a Hall of Mirrors there. But, what do we not like? Probably a Sonic Wave at this point. I think one weakness is fine. You might as well dupe the four. I know that looks wonky. That does allow us... Whoops. To then... Get a little extra damage out of that magic missile. The six doesn't hit the weakness, so it's not as good. So you will probably shock me, would be my. Okay, well. It is more damage, I guess. We don't really need a five. This, this setup we've got right now actually feels pretty good. I will use another crystal ball, if necessary. Is it necessary? Thank you. <laughs> we wanted a low even, and that is what we got. But I still can't kill you without using the crystal ball. We needed a four to kill you. It was still worth the shot, I think. It was worth the swing. Just looking. Very important. <laughs> okay, hold on a moment here. So we have an upgraded slot. Rotten Apple, that's your last fight. I think you go Cactus first. It's not a bad guy to have a magic shield against. I think you, you have to... Well, that's not true. You could gold cauldron your five. I stand by this. I stand by this move. Wait, did I even take a shield on this run? I might not have. So you rolled amazingly. There's not much you can do to defend against that. No, we did not take a shield. Um, you have to be weakened. It's gonna hurt, but we might get a limit break out of it. I do hate taking the damage. Just gonna just gonna be clear about that one. I do not like it. I think we just yeet the gold cauldron. I'm not gonna throw this at you. It's one for two, it's not good, it's not good optics. That's beautiful. You get one thorn. That's a much much better setup for us. I, uh, I respect that we are gonna take damage, you know, over the course of this. Can't use that sonic wave, unfortunately. Okay, it's just two damage. I can live with that. No thorns. This is a great turn for us to turn around and do some attacking. Kind of screwed it up. Don't need any more dice, I'll tell you that much. Two weakness is still always going to be good for us, because you get that situation right there. Okay, I don't know, man. We did okay against the cactus. There's there's a long way to go, but we're still, we're still trucking. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it in a big way. In a big way. Okay. If we beat the wicker man, there's a really good chance we will live long enough um, to get to the next floor.
We do have a shield. It's on six, though. Now I understand why I was so perturbed from using it in the past. I guess you go to... Ah, but then what is a six going to do for you? You're not doing anything with a six. You might as well just toss it. You're not getting much out of it on turn one, but we have no Hall of Mirror strat, so... Okay. It's actually a... He rolled low, which is nice. The weakness is what it is. Um, this time, I think we'll Cauldron. I think he Cauldron the six, unfortunately. Um, I do want a Hall of Mirrors out there, but we have to we have to be very delicate with our balance here. This Crystal Ball is is pretty much needed to leapfrog us. I think ahead of this guy in power right now. So honestly, a one here is fine. Then I, I'm totally okay with the Hall of Mirrors. And then, please God, the one became a two. Can't do much with the two. Go ahead and take the three. You made it into a two. That's cute. So we've done eight damage to this guy net over that many turns. Not quite a perfect roll by his standards, but, but pretty close. <laughs> uh, you, you gotta love it, apparently. You know what I'm thinking in my in my heart of hearts right now is like, what's what's the point of any of this this madness here? I think you, you got to yeet a hall of mirrors and then at least you can put that five in there. But this is it's got to be a, a quick turn and burn. I appreciate the low rolls. I appreciate the low rolls. That's big for us. We could be lethal next turn. I I don't think we will be, but we could be lethal next turn. You don't like the six, actually. We'd like to reroll the six. Became a four, which is beautiful. Um, you can, honestly, I think a dupe on the five is actually pretty good here, because then you can use two fives to do another five damage. That's a good low roll. You love to see it. We're gonna we're gonna hear the heartbeats, but I think we're gonna live. Um, do we need to use our limit break? Almost certainly. But uh, you know what? Absolutely not. We do not need to use our limit break. Not at all. I'm the, I'm the happiest man in the world right now. There's, there's an actual legitimate potential chance here. We might be able to take this through to the freaking finish line. I still think it was worth healing. <laughs> All right, Rotten Apple, do your worst, brother. This is this is your chance. We absolutely have to get out in front of you. Um, you definitely start with a two, turn it into fours, take your fours, get an extra dice. Now is good. You can even get one more dice if you wanna. I think we should. And then we lose five damage. We get one extra dice, and we have magic missile casted. We really wanna. Oh no, four damage. We really want to weaken this guy as much as possible every single freaking turn. So I think you actually double up on fives here, as busted as that stuff looks. Then your sixes are not that valuable. We don't need more dice, I think. I think you weaken, you do damage. And then honestly, I think you Sonic Wave for another weaken, and then just throw this. It's gonna be... It's going to be hot. It's going to be hot. It is. It's just going to be. This is a big one, though. I like that a lot. Every every little bit helps, I suppose. Low rolls for the most part. Still, he's a few turns away from killing us. Dun, 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 dun. You know what? Give me some sixes. <laughs> At least we can use the sixes, um, if necessary slash possible. Oh, we got you. Never mind. 
um, to, to make a shield. Let me, let me, I didn't expect this to go on so long. Let me pivot to these boys here in the Discord. Sorry, y'all. Um, you want to do, um, yeah, yeah, huh? Something like that. It's going on a little longer than usual here. So, oh, an extra dice. How, how interesting. But what would we rather have here? I honestly think prepared spell slot is still what we want. And, uh, I do think Gold Cauldron really raises our odds of getting Hall of Mirror. One more floor. One more floor for a chance of yeeting the game into the stratosphere forever. Get your get your three out of here. You got a four. Put the six on there. So you're saying there's a chance. Not that bad. And we got our limit break early. Big plays. Okay. You do want to duplicate. Question is, what do you want to duplicate? You can only really duplicate a five, but a four would also be nice if we got one. Didn't get one. Put the six on there. Go ahead and duplicate the five. At least by duping the five. Let's just assume we're at enough dice right now. By duping the five, you still have the ability to get some weaknesses out there. Come on, you little sneezy, right? Okay, is it also a pretty bad turn, but it's it's coming in time. If you dupe a four, basically I look at that as a free dice. Yeah, we can still do it. It's just it's. I'll admit it's a little spice, but hold on here a second. Uh, you'd rather have fives than threes right now? Do we want an extra dice, or do we want more damage? I think we want more damage. I'm sorry to say. So hit me with a five. Uh, five, and then a three, four. We'll take you down to three HP with two weakness on you. The curse does not matter at all. We didn't take very much damage. We didn't take enough damage to be afraid for our lives. So we're going to get 8 HP back. Not a bad fight, in my opinion. Crystallina. It, a great enemy to get 4 weakness on. Uh, but the odds of that happening on turn 1 especially are pretty low. Yeet your 1. I think you actually... Um, you still can't do this quite right. Okay. We're gonna do a little bit of a weird move. Go one weakness, three shield. That's a pretty solid roll. It's probably average, but it looks above average. Okay, so you're gonna weaken me. And we're not gonna be at limit break. So we're gonna be a little slower yet again. You weaken gold cauldron, which is... I mean, it's obviously... It's pretty terrible. This should be interesting. Again, it's like exactly average, but it feels bad, man. Very weird play from the AI. You've weakened Gold Cauldron on the upgraded slot. I think that's fine because we're gonna get a little spiced here. So you dupe the four for certain. You put a one in Gold Cauldron. You got a four in return, that's an easy Sonic wave. Give me a Hall of Mirrors, um, followed by a duped four, which allows you to get something out of that. Honestly, we're going big on the extra dice factor here. But now, I, I think we want to pivot to, um, ah, that's horrible. We want to pivot to uh, as much weakness as possible, so fives being duped is really nice. We really wanted that to be cursed. We really wanted that to be cursed. Okay, that's, that's an acceptable curse. Um, give me a sonic wave here. And a throw. That's still only one weakness. I, I think this is, it's starting to slip away here. You did get enough fives, no kidding. No kidding. 
I will say though, this is this has returned a little bit of my uh, of my enthusiasm that we may indeed have a chance at redemption here. Um, definitely dupe the five. Then a five goes in here. Then a five goes in here. And uh, I think you create a magic shield and you just take two to block three. Definitely going to get a limit break, but things are getting hot. You got a six. Are you kidding me? Stop. Okay. I mean, we have to... We might not have to kill you this turn, but we gotta come real close. We, we gotta we gotta put in a, a real... We gotta do some work. Let me put it that way. So we are cursed. You, you love to see it. You actually love to see it. Not a sarcastic love to see it for the first time in my life. There's no real reason to dupe a six in my world. Um, I think you just throw and hope you live. There's not. I, we didn't have lethal. That one six will possibly kill us. Curse. Yeah, we're dead. It was better though. It was better. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, click the like button. That was a great deal. Of course, subscribe. What else is new? We lose. See you next time. Haha. -ha.